A question with the space The usual puts a word Dig a dog while asking No matter how absurd Some unsuspecting person Will hear that phone ring And they will be a victim Of the phony phone ring Welcome to the phony phone thing Each week on Dick and Dom in a Bungalow On a Saturday morning I will be calling up a person In a very professional Very highly skilled job I will be conducting what they think is a very serious interview for national television. What they don't know is that they're part of a big bungalow game. I'm going to ask them a couple of serious questions and then the bungalow heads will take over. Because as you can see, we have questions here with blanks. They've got to fill in the blanks and I've got to keep conducting the interview in a very serious fashion. Ready? <laughs> Can't wait myself. Right then. Can't okay, let yourself. me dial it. Oh, give me the card because I think I've got the ready. Bungalow somewhere. heads, get going now. Okay. Card, got Fill, well, write some words in here, right. and whatever you write, he's got to give say. Give me that card down there. What this, card? That card down there. Hey. Right, let me just. That one. Okay, that one. Yeah, right. I'm calling a doctor this morning, and his name is Doctor Anthony Clark. There we are. Okay, it's ringing. Oh yes. Is he there? Hello. Hello, is that Dr. Anthony Clark? It is speaking. Hi there, this is uh, Richard McCourt from BBC Television. Oh, good morning. Hi there. Um, we're going to be conducting an interview for the telly this morning. Uh, I'm just going to ask you a few questions about your job. No problem. And they'll be included in the new children's programme. OK. OK. Um, first question this morning is, uh, how many years did you have to train to become a doctor? Um, it takes five years at university and then another year as a junior doctor. Lovely, OK. And what do you specialise in? I'm a general practitioner. A general practitioner. What does that exactly mean? Can you explain that a bit further? Of course, I'm a GP, so I work out in the community in a surgery with other doctors and nurses, and I see patients every day in surgeries and then go out on home visits to visit patients in their own homes. OK. Uh, how many bogeys do you see in a week? How many bogeys? That's an interesting question. Yeah. Um, it depends how many children with bogeys that need to come into the surgery to mm. be seen. Mm. Okay, the next question. Um, what's the strangest earwig you've treated? Earwigs? I've not seen an earwig for a long no. time, actually. I've seen lots yeah. of earwax, but not many earwigs. No. Yeah, that, I suppose that would happen. Let me just move the page along at the next question. Um, if I had an accident, um, what lamps should I call? If you had an accident, what lamp should you call? Yeah, the lamps. Lamp? Yeah, you know, if I, if I, say if I was, I don't know, in the kitchen and a piece of toast like, burnt me on my finger or something, w which lamp should I call? <laughs> um, All right, I'll tell you what, we'll move on to the next uh, question <laughs> six. In, in your opinion, in your opinion, right. do, do doctors thank too hard? Do doctors thank too hard? Yeah, thank, thank, F-A-N-K. Thank. Yeah. I would hope no doctors right. thank okay, all right. <clears throat> um, okay, here's the, here's the next question. If I had a pain in my snot, what advice would you give me? Mm, that's a difficult one. It would depend how much snot you had. Yeah, right, okay, I'll just write that down, lovely. Okay, and finally, uh, how many bogeys are there in a hospital? Oh, well, that depends how many patients and how big the hospital is, really. Lovely. Dr. Anthony Clark, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Ah! We have him! We have him live on national television. Who do you reckon the best team was? Well, I've got to say, they were just bogeys. Bogeys, bogeys, yeah, too many snot. bogeys. These too guys bogeys. all wrote different things, so I think it's going to be Team B. Who wrote the Who wrote the S word? Bang. Who wrote Bang? Chris, an extra 20 bungalow yeah. points for you, mate. Yeah. Let's go back to the bungalow. Come on, this way. Word. That was the phony phone thing. Oh, sorry. Bang. Go, 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 go. Bang. Bang. Welcome to 